everyone. Good morning. I hope you all are having a lovely day. I'm sorry about the noise. It's just the laundry's on. Anywho, so today I just thought about this fantastic two minutes um, sandwich recipe. I'm gonna review the ingredients with you guys and I thought I would just do something nice for my mom since obviously she's making food for us, making sure we are fed and all the good stuff. So today I had time, so I took some time out and this recipe, believe it, believe it or not guys, your mom is gonna love it and you guys should make it for your mom as well. I know it's not Mother's Day or anything, but I don't think so. There needs to be a certain day to appreciate somebody in your life. Anywho, so I'm just gonna get some bread over here. This whole wheat bread, um, Dempster. I love using this bread. I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna add some avocado over here. Some herb, cream cheese. I think this is uh, the herb and garlic cream cheese. Um, some parsley. Oops, there we go. Yeah, I think you guys can see it better now. Some parsley and a bit of pepper. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna just use some boiled egg, like so. So before we begin, I'm going to add some cream cheese and spread it on the bread, like so. I toasted my bread, but you guys don't have to. I just think my mom likes it toasted as well. So I'm gonna apply a hefty amount. Like so, oh my God, this cream cheese is so good. I'm I'm just in love with cream cheese, but when I tried this one, it's just another level. So good. You guys have to try it. I believe I got this from Walmart. And yeah, it's really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a good amount of coat, as you can see there. I'm gonna take my egg. I'm gonna try to do it in thin slices. It's just one boiled egg. Believe it or not, my mom boiled it for me this morning. <laughs> so, I'm just using that. And I'm just gonna layer it on the cream cheese like so. You guys can layer it any way you want. On top of that, I'm gonna take half of a avocado, just very thin slices on top of the eggs. I'll show you the, the how it looks like at the end. But it's looking really yummy. Also, I think I forgot one more thing. Just give me a second. We're gonna add there we go. I'm just forgetting the most important ingredient. We're gonna add some cucumber. A little bit of that. I'm just gonna take a little bit not overly too much and we're just going to try to cut this in thin slices just taking that peel off almost about to forget it okay as you can get about this much. I know you guys can 
that we are thinking that I can use the other. I don't know what's it, what it's called, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to do what I can do. And we're gonna just thinly slice it. I don't like to complicate things. There we go. So we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna take some parsley. Love the stuff. And just sprinkle it on top. can go hefty it just gives it uh, give uh, it's gonna give the avocado a nice flavor and it's going to give the, the cucumbers a nice flavor and then we're gonna add some pepper good amount of pepper on the other side of the bread another layer of cream cheese never have less cream cheese I'm gonna take this and we're gonna just spread it can apply as much as you like as little as you like I'm just gonna do that much and that's basically it, it took five seconds and so this is the result look how good that looks guys so I'm just gonna put this bread on top You can just half it in the middle or, or the center, like so, and that's it. So I have a lovely day, guys. Alright, so I managed to cut it in the center, and look at that. If that doesn't look yummy, I don't know what does. So guys, make sure you try this for your mom or any loved ones, and have it yourself as well. You won't be disappointed. So just as an update, my mom finished her whole sandwich and she absolutely loved it.